Build It, Make It, Play It. Hello, welcome to Build It, Make It, Play It. This is part two of the Heart Lake City Shopping Mall Build. If you haven't seen part one yet, head on back. You've missed out on animation, the first third of the shopping mall set, and that moving escalator. And stay tuned to the end because I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison with the old 2014 Heart Lake City shopping mall versus this one. Do you know, the more I build of this shopping mall set, the more excited I get. It's gorgeous. Shall we carry on building? Come on. So I kind of thought it would be quite fitting to start part two by building a toilet. Right, starting off with a dark purple base plate and building out a wall. And we've got these really nice purple A plates and we're fitting various connector bricks to them. And these are crucial parts for the shopping mall set. This is what's going to connect all of those three pieces together. And we're building one out for the right hand side. And this is built in a completely opposite way to the left hand side one. Building out the walls with those blue and yellow and pink plates. But again, no three by one pink plate. So, so strange. We have some white angled blocks going on and a gray post box, which is going to be an ATM machine. Pop in a plain wall plate and an angled block to keep that ATM machine in. Next, we're building out the ATM machine display and we're just popping a sticker onto a gray tile. Stick it onto that stud brick and pop it on top of that ATM machine. Building the wall up a little bit more. Spin it around and we're popping in a couple of stud bricks. And we've got the start of our toilet. Building up the back of the toilet. Adding on a gold stud brick. And a gold toilet flush. And a gold toilet seat. It's a Donald Trump toilet. Oh, so posh, a gold loo. And look, we've even got an air freshener, just in case anyone makes any nasty smells in the toilet. Can you tell I'm British with a love of toilet humour? Popping in a pillar brick and a privacy door. With a gold handle, of course. Next, we're building out a couple of sinks with some pink stud bricks to look like drawers. I'm not quite sure why you'd want drawers in a public toilet. Lego do love a good toilet in their sets, don't they? Hey, the old shopping mall never had one. Next, we're building up a pink and white drawer unit and it's going to be a baby changing area. Pop on a pink tile and a pink stud tile. Oh, I think Sophie's left her baby bottle behind. Look at that bathroom sticker. Isn't it gorgeous? I like the tiles. I quite fancy those in my bathroom. And adding on a plain wall plate to the left hand side. There we go, bathroom complete. Holding it all together with some long white bricks and building up that wall line. Now these black 6x1 plates, they're very important. They're going to hold that moving escalator onto the rest of the shopping mall. Topping the bathroom off with those mid-purple plates. And we have some money for our ATM machine. Ooh, there's some money sticking out. In comes that lovely, lovely escalator. And that's going to clip onto those black plates. And tied together with some purple curved plates. Beautiful. Oh, here comes Emma to try out the escalator. Up she goes, up she goes. Oh, Emma, watch out, you're getting near the top. Oh, 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 oh dear, how embarrassing. The safety mechanism on that escalator is not working yet. Okay, I think we might need to build that safety mechanism at the top of the escalator so their feet don't get squished. Okay, so we're building out a step at the top of the escalator with some gray blocks. Adding some curved grey blocks and a grey tile. There we go, no more squished feet. We're building up some more of those all-important A connector plates. Popping on those connector axle bricks and topping off with another A. Clipping onto the right-hand side and doing exactly the same for the left-hand side but in reverse. So the shop we're building up now, I'm really excited about, it's the sweet shop! Building up some more of that blue and yellow and pink detailing. But this time we don't add in that two by one. And the first thing we're building is a drinks dispenser. On goes a drip tray and a glass. And building up those drink dispensers with the little straws coming out. And we have three of those. I love how they've built these drinks dispensers with these transparent blocks. 
Look, they follow the blue and yellow and pink theme, building up the wall around them. And we have another one of those lovely, lovely blue doorways. And finishing off the top of that drinks dispenser with a black tile. Spin it around and we're going to neaten up that back with a white tile. Beautiful. I absolutely love this wall piece next. It's so clever. Grab yourself a clear wall panel. Now we need to give the impression there are sweets inside the wall. So you literally just drop little circular tiles inside that see-through wall panel. So clever. I'm plugging up the bottom with that two by one pink block. Might help if I got it around the right way. There we go. How cool is that? And we're doing exactly the same for the other side. Popping those circular tiles in, capping it off at the bottom. There we go, what a lovely window display. And we have another one of our stickered tills. Pop that into place and our little coin. Somebody please tell me, is this a new coin? In comes one of our wall stickers and it's covered in sweets. Yummy, yummy, this is making me hungry. So next we're building a sweet display and they've got a very clever way of making little lollipops. Beautiful, beautiful pastel candy colors here. And all of those lollipops just slot into those stud bricks. Popping in a couple of lovely sneeze barriers. Or is it to stop children's fingers going all over the lollipops? Oh, it's so cute. And we're decorating up the escalator area with more of those pink and yellow flowers in vases. It's all so pretty. We're going up and we're going to finish off the top of that sweet shop, building up the walls a little bit more. We've got three great big connector bricks that are held together with these black axle pins. And two of those smaller connector blocks just sit on the end of the long one. Pop that into place on the back of that sweet shop. And we're topping off that shop with some lilac base plates and two lilac angled plates. Okay, we're going up and we're going to build up more of our food court. Starting off with a circular jumper brick, adding on some curved white tiles and two curved white bricks either side. Little connector bricks going in behind those and more circular jumper bricks going in. What is it going to be? We're going to build a little blue chair, popping on a little backrest and some curved blue tiles for the cushions. And we need to make two more. There we are, three little chairs. On goes an angled stud brick. And this is the sticker for our sweet shop sign. Isn't it adorable? Finishing off the top of that sign with some curved lilac bricks. And now we're creating a simple yellow table. On goes a pink teapot and three little cups, all ready for high tea. Ooh, this shopping mall is very posh, isn't it? We just need some scones now. Ooh, I love scones. Or scones? Scones or scones? Let me know in the comments. Adding on some gold studs ready for our railings. And we're building out the shopping mall sign now. Popping on a couple of stepped curved bricks either side. Make sure they're squashed into place. Finishing off the edges with some curved bricks and building up that all important blue and yellow and pink stripe details. Oh, I do love this color consistency in this set. Popping on two curved pillars either side, grabbing a couple of connector bricks and popping an axle pin through both, adding on two curved angle bricks either side, popping two white two by ones on the bottom and topping it off with a white tile. And we're going to anchor those curved pillars together. And we have this pivoting axle stud brick. And this is what the sign is going to be stuck to. We're building the sign. And I have to say, the new sign looks so much nicer and trendier than the old set. Finishing off the edges of that pink heart with some yellow and blue curved tiles. We've got our sign sticker. It strangely doesn't have any wording on whatsoever. And I think this is purely down to Lego trying to make this an international set without having to reprint stickers all the time. And try and stick it into place. I found this really, 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 really tricky. How embarrassing. So I resorted to taking that brick off and sticking it onto the back of that heart and then popping it on that axle pin. It's so much easier. 
There we go, we have the centre of our shopping mall. We're going to bring in the left hand side that we made in part one. And do you remember those connector bricks? They're going to slide over those axle pins. Pop it into place. There we go, two thirds of a shopping mall. Next, we're building out the fashion shop. Grab another one of those dark purple plates, adding on that all important connector brick. More blue and yellow and pink detailing. Again, no three by one pink. Popping on a dark purple curved plate, holding it into place with a blue two by two and a blue circular jumper plate. And we have our accessory sticker for the fashion shop. Pop that onto a wall plate and into place on the top of that connector brick. Two transparent wall pillars go either side of that doorway. I've done it again. I've knocked off that wall pillar. And again. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so embarrassing. There we go. It's in place and secure, hopefully. Adding on another curved window, topping it off with a white curved brick and connecting all of those panels together with a great big white brick so they don't go flying off across the table. Again, adding in two extra blue jumper bricks for our displays. And we're building the first of our displays and it's for a purple wig. I don't think I own a hairpiece like this. Ooh, new hair. And we have another display for our window on the other side. And it holds the same pink beehive hairdo that came in the hairdressing set. And also, the mayor was wearing it in the animation in part one. It must be in fashion. We are building out an accessory display cabinet. Super, super simple. Grab yourself a blue plate, add two white two by ones either side, and some gray stud bricks. And we're adding on these pink stud bricks for drawers. Add some curved white bricks either side, and topping it off with some white stud bricks. What accessories have we got for this display cabinet? We have a ring, a crown, the obligatory bow, and let me guess, let me guess, sunglasses? Yes, sunglasses, I was right. How did I know that? I think we might need a bit more variety in accessories, Lego. We're building our all important curved window display now, and it's going to hold a beautiful, beautiful A-line skirt. There we go, we have a beautiful skirt that you can put on your mini dolls. Next, we're building out a wall pillar for the back of the shop. Adding on a white arch to tie that front and the back of the shop together and building up that wall line just a little bit more and strengthening everything with that long white brick. I'm saying all of this, but you should see what happens in a minute. On that clip brick goes a little security camera. I'm thinking Heart Lake City might have gone back in time because this is a security camera with a VHS tape attached to it. And this is where it all goes horribly wrong. Pating! Yep. <laughs> the whole lot collapses. Right. <laughs> I have not had much luck with this shop, have I? Okay, let's build this all back up again. And I decided to pop the camera in before anything else goes on top of it. There we go, success. Please don't collapse on me again. Next, we're building out another blue and yellow and pink till area. Ah, <laughs> my finger is stuck. The Lego is trying to eat my finger. Oh, oh my goodness, that's horrible. Does this set want to throw any more disasters at me? I hope not. Right, building out the wall behind what's going to be the till. Adding on our sticker till and building up the wall line behind that till. And that goes on to the end of our curved window. Next, we're building out another one of those beautiful, beautiful cherry blossom trees. Popping on those pink and white flowers and securing it in place. So before this shop decides it's going to fall down again, I'm going to secure it in place with these mid purple plates. Yay, it didn't fall down. Right, we're going up to our next shop. Adding in that yellow connector brick again and those blue and yellow and pink studs. Look, we have our toy shop sticker. There's teddy bears and rockets and rabbits and robots. Pop that into place. Adding on another blue doorway and building up a blue and yellow and pink pillar for the other side. We have another 50% off sticker that's going onto a window. They do love their 50% off sales at this shopping mall. We're building out a toy display cabinet next. 
Grab a blue 4x1 plate, add some stud bricks on top, and finish those off with a pink stud brick to look like a drawer. Topping it off with a curved white brick and securing it in place in front of that wall panel. So I've decided to build the rest of the cabinet in situ. Couple of little white stud bricks, adding on that pink drawer detail and finishing the end of the cabinet with that curved white brick. Topping those cabinets off with some white stud bricks. There we are, a toy display cabinet. And we need some toys for our cabinet. And we're starting off with a pull-along rubber ducky. Next up, we have a little cream bunny. And I put the same one in Liz's bedroom. I love the toy we're building next. We're building a fire engine. And the ladder goes onto that little clip brick. So cute. Adding on another one of those transparent cylinder bricks. Topping it off with a blue jumper brick. And on this window display, there's going to be a doll's house. Grab a small white plate, add a white one stud brick and some little hinge bricks either side. Make it pretty with some green flowers. Pop a purple tile onto a stud brick for a door and we're making our roof line next. Out of a hinge brick with a pink tile on top, one on each side angled up and let's add it to our window display. Building up the wall line on the other side of that window and strangely, the toy shop has a printed till. Add some tall white bricks onto the top of that till and tie everything together with that long white brick. Adding on some yellow bricks and we're going to attach our yellow slide. Oh, this looks like so much fun. Clip it between that roof line and that purple plate and building up that wall line on top of that wall panel and across the door and window. Finish off the bottom of that slide with some curved yellow tiles. And we're adding in some curved white bricks around the bottom of that slide. And it's going to be a ball pool. Capping that all off with some blue tiles. And let's finish off the toy shop with those lilac plates. We're going up to finish off the final piece of our food court. And we're going to build a sushi kiosk. And the base of the kiosk is made out of these curved white bricks and yellow plates. Adding on those curved bricks and some blue circular jumper plates and we're building some sushi and I think this might be Maki. I'm very excited about this Lego sushi. And next, I think this might be a bento bowl. It's got a little egg on the top. Adding that to that jumper plate and building up the top of the sushi kiosk with those blue and yellow and pink details. On goes that arch detail and an angled stud brick. And we have our sushi sticker. The little bowl has a face on it. Oh, this is making me so hungry. I've got sushi cravings now. And Olivia's decided to come along and try out that slide. Whee! Oops, she gets a bit stuck. Adding on those important gold studs ready for our railings. Attach another angled stud brick. And we have the sticker for our fashion accessory shop. No cute little faces on this one, it's far more serious. And topping it off with some mid-purple tiles. Going up, and we're building out the toy shop sign. Look at that sticker, two little smiley kites. Popping that into place. Adding on those gold grabby claws. And our short and long gold railings. And of course we need our yellow and pink flowers in vases. Do you know a ball pool isn't complete without the balls? So we have loads of primary colour studs. Now the slide's complete, little Henry wants to give it a go. Whee! So there we have it, we have the last section of our shopping mall complete. Let's clip it into place with those connector pins. Now I ended up spinning it around just to make it much, much easier to connect it together. There we go, all three pieces connected together. Ta-da! One completed shopping mall. Let's bring in all of those extra pieces. We have our revolving fashion stage and the fun photo booth. There we have it, the Heartlink City Shopping Mall for 2021. It is my great, great pleasure to announce that the Heartlink Shopping Mall has been complete. And without further ado, I shall be cutting the ribbon. The Heartlake Shopping Mall is open! 
<laughs> Olivia has found her favourite shop. It looks like she's giving Emma a detailed lecture on the workings of a robot. Olivia, I don't think Emma's going to be that interested. It looks like Emma and Olivia are giving that new escalator a good spin. Little Henry's trying out the photo booth. Oh dear, it looks like June has found that fashion accessory shop and she's got her eyes on that skirt. It didn't take much window shopping, did it? She's bought that skirt and she's trying it out on the fashion platform. And whilst June's off spending lots of money, Henry's found the slide. Oh, Robert, he's never going to get off of there. Oh, June and Robert and Henry are having afternoon tea. And I'm sure if Henry had proper hands, he'd be nibbling on one of those cookies. Right, time for our side-by-side -side comparison. On the left, we have our old 2014 Heart Lake City shopping mall. And on the right, obviously, we have the one that has just been released. These two shopping mall sets are absolutely massive. I struggle to fit it onto my table, to be quite honest. I would say the width of them is pretty comparable. The only difference is the old set comes in three separate parts and the new set clips together into one whole unit. So instantly you can see there is a massive, massive design difference between the two different shopping malls. The new shopping mall is looking far more modern and sophisticated and streamlined and the colours are so bright and zingy. And if you compare it to the 2014 model, which is looking a little bit bulky, a little bit dated, there's a lack of consistency with colours there. And also the sticker detailing on the new set is far superior. They're cute, they have this kawaii kind of feel to them, they're more fun. Whereas the sticker detailing in the old Heart Lake City shopping mall is a little bit more serious. The new set doesn't have the same Heart Lake City shopping mall sign. And I think this is purely down to Lego wanting to ship this new shopping mall set internationally without having to create new stickers. But if I show you the old shopping mall set versus the new shopping mall set, can you see that the old shopping mall set came with far more extras? The new shopping mall set literally has the photo booth and that fashion platform. And if I compare the difference between the two, the old shopping mall came with this lovely working photo booth, whereas the new one, it literally has this photo booth facade. And if I compare the fashion platforms, the old one came with a big DJ setup and speakers. Whereas the new one, it is simply an arch with a revolving platform. But in the old set, you get far more additional extras. You get a car, you get a shopping cart, you get signs, you get a nail polish display. So the old shopping mall packs so many more extra features in. And if I'm going to get down to the nitty gritty of detail, let's compare the palm tree versus the blossom tree in the new set. Personally, I think the blossom tree in the new set is far more beautiful. But the all important difference between the two sets is the depth. And a lot of people before this new set came out were saying that it literally looked like a facade. And I have to reveal now that the old shopping mall set is far, far deeper. Each of the shops is about the same width, but that depth difference is massive. But saying that, the new set, you have a revolving staircase, you've got a slide into a ball pool. I mean, come on, that's cool. They've updated the food court in the new set, so you have this nice big area upstairs for your Lego friends dolls to have some lunch. In the old set, we have a working revolving door, but the new set has this beautiful moving escalator, which is far more superior in terms of the experience. So if I was going to give my honest, honest opinion here, I would personally say that I prefer the new 2021 shopping mall set. Yes, the shops are smaller and yes, you do get less extraneous extras. But I think in terms of design, in terms of build quality, in terms of the experience, the new shopping mall set is far superior over the old shopping mall set. And this is just my own personal design aesthetic opinion. I much, much, much prefer the new shopping mall set over the old shopping mall set. The colours are consistent for starters. The stickers are beautifully designed. The accessories are much nicer. 
It looks more sleek and modern. And also, come on, moving escalator. And Emma and that beautiful cat motif on her top. And June. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous is June? There's a toddler doll included, a baby included. I mean, what's not to like about the new shopping mall set? But seriously, this is just my opinion. I would love to know what you think. Which one do you prefer? Thank you so much for watching again. I really, really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I love hearing from you all. I really do. And I shall reply as soon as I possibly can. See you later.